This is Unnecessary Talk with Brian Sturgis. I am that Brian Sturgis. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> my life. To my left, engineer and grandson of Theodore Hall, an American physicist and atomic spy for the Soviet Union, who during his work for the U.S. efforts to develop the first and second atomic bomb during World War II, gave a detailed description of the fat man plutonium bomb and of several processes for plur- plur- uh, uh, son of a mother gave a detailed description of a fat man plutonium bomb and of several processes for purifying plutonium to Soviet intelligence. Tim Hall, everybody. <laughs> He's a quiet man. This episode is brought to you by the feature film Wall of Flesh, a vintage comedy. A faded musician and lovable curmudgeon must reassemble his motley band of misfits in order to provide for the spermatozoan that got away. Starring... (laughs) Starring... Not so easy, is it? Starring Brian Sturgis, Kalela Harris, and Aaliyah Conlon... (laughs) Conley. Starring Brian Sturgis, Kalela Harris, and Aaliyah Conley premieres 420 on Amazon. At Wall of Flesh dot, sorry, at Wall of Flesh Film and Wall of Flesh dot com. Yeah, it was a lot better last week, right? You're fired. Our guest today, funk soul singer, no actor, improviser, playwright, and silent partner of one of Thailand's largest and longest running offshore poker tournaments, the Big Boy Card Play Now Win Big Extravaganza. Ted Reese, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thanks for having me. <laughs> How you doing, Ted? Um, pretty good. Good enough. <laughs> we're going to start off with uh, quick questions. Oh, wow. All right, really? We're going to get it's, right into it. All right? It's no foreplay, nothing. It's... Oh. Here we go. You'll thank me later. He was fixing up your tunic, your toga. <sighs> quick questions, yeah. Airwolf or the A-Team? Uh, a team uh, designing women. Can you name me all nine of KFC's eleven herbs and spices? Tamarind, turmeric, um, thyme. That's the teas. R- rosemary, uh, black pepper, cayenne pepper, uh, onion salt, and celery salt. Ooh, that's, it, I don't know how many that was, but that's that, I that, just made that, some shit up. That, we we might get sued. That I'm may be that yeah. may be it. I'm pretty sure tamarind is not. <laughs> I don't know about that stuff. Did the juice do it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you name three plays written by Anton Chekhov? Yeah, The Seagull, Uncle Vanya, and The Three Sisters. Oh, nice. Guys, that was amazing. That's well, it's kind of an easy question, guys. <laughs> Who is D.B. Cooper? The way I understand it was he was just a quiet guy um, who loved America and just loved uh, sticking his genitals in basins full of apple cider vinegar. Is I could have I could have some wrong information though. I I think that's I think that's correct. <laughs> Ding. When's the last time you did a push up? <laughs> <laughs> a couple months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Believe it or not, a couple months ago. I, why would I not believe that? I, well, you know. What are your thoughts about Pepsi Clear? I loved it, man. I love Pepsi Clear. I think they should bring it back. I thought it was um, that whole uh, trend, you know, with like Pepsi Clear, Crystal Pepsi, uh, Zima. Did you ever oh, drink Zima? Zima, yeah. Did you, you ever put bowling alley? Did you ever put uh, Jolly Rancher candies in Zima? No, I never heard of that. Oh, so it no. flavors the Zima. I yeah, yeah, exactly. It was the bomb. Hmm. Yeah. So we, we would, you know, I guess we would be open to sponsorship. You know, yeah. why, why don't the good people at Zima and Pepsi Clear go and send a couple of cases on this to talk with Brian Sturgis? Do you think Socrates' father thought he was a no good, dirty hippie? Yeah. But it's usually the generation before, it's usually they don't understand the current the generation. Greatest, greatest, the greatest generation, greatest generation of Greek philosophers. Would you rather have love or money? Uh, money, duh. <laughs> Do you think the homosexual members of a Taekwondo's dojo should be allowed to obtain the extra level of a rainbow belt? Um, yeah, why not? Equality for all. What rapists stated, we all know that cash rules everything around us. Cash, green, get the money, dollar, dollar, bill, y'all. 
I believe it was Method Man from the Wu-Tang Clan. It was the Ooh. Wu-Tang Clan. Wow, yeah. I knew you. I had a feeling. Did you, did you ever buy that pillow top mattress, or are you still sleeping on your CVS receipts? I'm still sleeping on the CVS receipts. That is the worst joke of the week, and I know it's the worst one, but I said it anyways because we have to have the highs and the lows yeah, of jokes. Yeah, yeah. No, know. it's, I don't know, it was debatable. I didn't think it was. If that. the good people at CVS could go ahead and send us over a case of Zima and some Pepsi Clear. And, and a shitload of, of receipts. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, some uh, Jolly Ranchers, if we could get the good people at, at Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> yeah. When your third wife died in that train derailment, did you ever get your luggage back? No. Mm, and Amtrak is, is still, still to this day, um, you know, <laughs> going back and forth on where exactly my luggage is. They have a bad track record. <laughs> oh, <The> snap. <laughs> you see what I did there? Coming in, interjection, interjecting. Bob Ross or Mr. Rogers? <sighs> That's a tough one. Uh, Bob Ross. The answer was Zubilee Zoo. <laughs> ben Vereen. Ben Vereen. Oh, Ben Vereen. Well, the great Ben Vereen. Which is BS with BS. So you're 100% Greek. Yeah, my it, parents are My parents are from uh, like the northwesternmost province of Greece, where the people are a little more um, fair-complected. So it's like closer to like uh, Albania and stuff. All right. Macedonia. Somebody told me I should call, uh, I should uh, stop saying I'm Greek because I don't look Greek. Uh, they should say yeah. well. I mean, I, you start. Uh, well, I think we can Hellenic that. American, but uh, yeah. Oh goodness. So uh, I brought you your own tunic, and I yeah, thought great. we would. And it's uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's. Would you like to drape yourself in the flag of your country in a respectful way? I don't want to. Yeah. Before you old Greeks start writing into the show, it's out of respect for the country. All right, here we go. Is that? Do you feel? Do you feel I more? Do. You feel more at home. Oppa! There it is. Yes, superlikarimu. Oppa! Oh, do you speak? Yes, you speak? Yeah, I speak Greek. Get out of town! Yeah, you didn't know that. No, I wish I. Oh, I because I could have. Yeah. I will write. I will write something. We put my nipple. Away. I will write something. Uh, for you, you take advantage of that. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Give us some. You know. I mean, what do you want to know? Yes, I speak Greek. I'm a Theodorosoris. I'm a Meto Brian Sturgis, Keto Tim Kelly, yeah. Kind of meto unnecessary talk podcast. Mm. You know, that's there's no. We're so interesting. I don't know. I, I didn't there's know no how to say to, unnecessary to in this. Greek, and I, yeah. I imagine the Greek word for podcast is like podcast. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have two older brothers. Do you have any sisters? No. We can move on. <laughs> didn't you think I was Hispanic when you cast me in Wall of Flesh? A little bit. See, this is this is what happens when a white man tries to do good. And he's like, let's get one of those uh, Hispanics. And, uh, you know, I heard a Greek All guy. All the flesh is diverse. It's great. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful That's cast. because I made it diverse. That's and I true. I believe in diverse stories. I do, too. And, uh, I mean, not, you know, who, nothing with a strong female lead. I mean, let's be realistic. <laughs> do over. <laughs> the Parthenon, do you think it's overrated? Or just in general? Hell no. It is not overrated. Yeah? That thing is amazing. I've been there in person. Um, you know, you go there. It's like this ancient thing that was built by these people who – you know, had no modern contemporary know-how that, you know, that we, and they built oh. this amazing thing. And I've seen ancient aliens. Okay. I know well, ancient, oh, yeah, they probably had some help. You're right. The ray aliens. Do you believe, do you believe uh, in, aliens? in aliens? And do you think they've helped with uh, technology? Wow. Um, I, I, I don't know. That's a, it's a good case for it, right? Tim, do you believe in aliens? I don't. Well, okay. Here's, 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 I was kind of like, that was the creepiest Response. <laughs> well, because I'm thinking about it in mid response. I would say there probably is something that is alien out there, but I don't I don't believe that they're coming over I'm, here and helping us build pyramids. They have got you, better things to do than yeah, general yeah. construction. <laughs> so you're a you're a published playwright and you wrote uh, a play called My Big Fat Greek Divorce. I did. Are I your co parents, wrote it. Are you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> I want to give the other author credit. He's not here. Or He's, she. It's, 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 it's a dude. It's, it's my buddy from San Diego, Matt oh. Thompson. My parents aren't divorced. It's about, um, you know, it's, it's like it, we wrote it for like academic theater, for like high school students to do like a school play or whatever. And it's uh, about the Greek gods. About the Greek gods and like they're in divorce court. So it's like one of those court TV show spoofs. <laughs> and uh, Hera wants to divorce Zeus. 
And this you is the, put this it on is the, the first chapter. That is, yeah. what do you mean? Like this, this is this is the first chapter, and the so it's a three and a half hour epic. No, that's that's it. It's a ten minute play. That was that was all we wrote. And you wrote it with somebody, so you technically only wrote five minutes. So technically, you, I mean, you wrote your five you minute play, right? You want to divvy it up that yeah. way? That's right. You'll finish it someday. <laughs> So let's talk about some Greeks. All right, here, here's what I came up with. Sure. The guy, Jackie, Jackie Onassis. Uh-huh. Right, she had said, I don't, Mr., what, what was his first name? Aristotle Onassis. Of course it was. Now, that's a name. Yeah. Let's see. Zorba the Greek. Zorba the Greek. Jimmy the Greek. Apollo Creed. <clears throat> Telly Savalas. The boys eat baklava. This is The Boys Eat Baklava. And that's, and that's just... We're just going to eat for two minutes, and then I'll speed it up in the... Okay. Oh, it's hard to get through with a fork. Was this refrigerated? Or my fork isn't sharp enough. It was sat in my car all night. <laughs> oh. oh what? It was cold out. That always makes it better. Wait, you try the yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you work magic, dude. I've seen you pull amazing shit out of your ass. I mean, <laughs> not literally. You want to take home. <laughs> <laughs> You if, you, like, if you guys don't want to finish it, we can just end it whenever. No, I'm going to eat it all because I have to. What, what did you think of the baklava? It's not bad. Um, you've, had, you've had better. My mom makes better. Um, yeah, she does. <laughs> mm. oh, she's a lovely woman. I apologize. Sorry, Mrs. Reese. Co-host a show called Sports Night. Yeah. And would you go ahead and spell that for us? So that it's a uh, it's Sports Night with a Z. It's S P O R T Z N I G H T. The way I describe it to people, uh, to do, like a really succinct uh, description of it is, it's uh, the Daily Show version of Sports Center. Oh, very so, cool. so we cover sports stories, uh, sports news. Uh, and you know we ridicule. Very it. funny. That's oh, fantastic. thank you. Yeah, you please, were on it. You were great. I, thank you very much. Yeah, you, you were nice enough to have me uh, on an episode. Please, please, please check out. Oh yeah, please. Uh, it's, sports it's, night. You're gonna love it. Yeah, and it's free. So you don't have to like sports to like sports night either. It's, you don't have to like Ted. You don't have to like me. You at You don't all have to either. like that. And we'll give a shout out to your co-host there. Uh, yeah, shout out to Xander Schaus. Tinez, the guys I uh, co-write and I, I said you could have uh, w- w- one. one shout out. Uh, We're going to, uh, Tim, will you make a note to scrub yeah. the second name? <laughs> Ted read it, the Odyssey. Now when the roasts were cut, the wine bowls full, a herald led the minstrel down the room amid the difference of the crowd and paused to seat him near a pillar in the center, whereupon that resourceful man, Odysseus, carved out a quarter from his chine of pork, crisp with fat, and called the blind man's guide, Herald! Here, take this to Demodokos. Let him feast and be merry with my compliments. All men owe honor to the poets. Honor and awe, for they are dearest to the muse who puts upon their lips the ways of life. Nice, I like that. Kept going up. So you had a uh, one-person show, yeah, called "My Life Is Geek." My life as a geek. My life as a geek. Yeah. Well, well I'll fire somebody on the staff. For me. No, I, maybe I had it as a typo the writer online. Is shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who writes this show? <laughs> I don't know, but they should definitely give up and start talk, yo. Unnecessary talk. That, that, let's take a moment and plug the unnecessary, unnecessary talk mugs. Unnecessary talk, yo. You can find these mugs mm. someplace, perhaps on the website, which is unnecessarytalk.com. The boys eat Greek yogurt. I'm not going to eat this. But I am going what, to stir it. I'm going to stir it vigorously. This, is, this has kind of been sitting out for a while, hasn't it? Just take one bite, Tim. Is this, one. Has this been in your car all night? It, it, it looks like mayonnaise. It definitely. I'm going to be honest with you. All of the food that we're eating, I left in my car last night and I had to go out and get it. But it was it. kind but of chilly yogurt. last night. Eh, it's, well, you, no Yo- one gets sick from dairy. Yeah, it's bacteria. I right? mean, it's right. 
I'm gonna take take one. one. Take Tim. Take one. It looks like mayonnaise. It tastes like mayonnaise. Take one. It's really bitter, which makes oh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's got some zing to it. <laughs> yeah, that's because it's sour. Yeah. Previously photograph, photograph. So holy shit, that's you on the right. Yeah, I can't recognize him. Holy shit, dude, you look Full so lips. different. Yeah. How old are you in that picture? I am. I'd be gotta be twenty one. You look mm. like a real rascal. <laughs> you look like or you should be you, riding a rascal. You look know. like one of those dudes who like has season tickets to the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> and it's is just it the, like it's the goomba hair right a little bit a little <laughs> bit yeah you look like oh my god dude you look like fucking tony soprano's cousin you look like <laughs> you look like you have one of those uh you stay at home jobs but you get paid because it's like one of those mob <laughs> <laughs> the no show. The no show. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a no yeah. show job. Hey, yeah, we're fucking over here at this fucking greasy spoon over there. Over there. Hey, sweetheart, can we get some more coffee? You look like that one of those kind of guys. Yeah. Like. The three of us. That picture is of the Jeff Gonzalez trio. We were over in Red Lion Inn in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. The gentleman to the left is Carl. Oh wow, that's the real life Carl. So that is. The that is Was that he is, from the South? Was he Southern? Uh, I don't. I don't remember. He's got a Mets hat on. He doesn't look southern. No, that's no, that's. Oh, that's Carl. Carl. Yeah, that's oh, Carl. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that guy, guy looks old. like that guy looks. Was he, he went to Berkeley with you? No. Oh, no, okay. he's an old man. Yeah. No, I was gonna say. Yeah, how he, did you? How did you know him? Well, he's like, dead now. Thanks for bringing that up, Ted. <sighs> Is he the diner owner? Did he die of health? Uh, I'm going to tell you a story. Oh, no. And this, okay. is a, this is a true story okay. that parallels The Simpsons oh, like wow. you wouldn't believe. He's a musician, okay. drummer. That's yeah. all he wanted to do. Yeah. And he got to a point where he figured out if, if he puts on, he was about 280 pounds. And he figured out if he put on more weight than he could get on disability and get that check. So he purposefully ate and ate and ate and then had a stroke and then he died. Did he get any disability before that happened? A man died, Tim. Could we get a moment of silence for dead Carl? <laughs> that is you. Uh, how old are oh. you there? Uh, probably one ish, or full less. Head of hair. Full yeah, head look of at hair. That. You still have you still have a beautiful head of hair, by the golden way. Golden locks, golden. And you guys do like the little ladies socks, the little athletic yeah, socks. Yeah. I I had those. Those racquetball those. socks, yeah. The fucking choo choo cool. train. You look great. Thanks. I'd fuck them. So, oh my <laughs> god, god. <laughs> that's definitely getting cut out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was kind of authentic moment there. Yeah. So this is the four of us. We yeah. have uh, Josh Willis, we have Ted, we have Shamar Philippe, and uh, and me with my, with my. Uh, That's a good look for you. The, uh, Did you dye your hair? No. No, that is. I grew out my bald man sides for the movie. Uh-huh. Uh huh. In the movie, I wear a wig, and the, right. uh, no spoiler alert, but the the wig may or may not come off in the movie. Mm. Another one we're on. Now, this is when we did... The, the night shoot. The night shoot. We were in that South L.A. That was really fun. And we did some, yeah. We did um, some illegal shit. Go ahead and play that. So, you stepped it up to human trafficking. Just like to point out, that was not his fault. You should have known better. I was counting on you to keep things in line. I would just like to say, I completely agree with you. All right, look. Go ahead, I don't need this shit. I got a house in Palm Springs. I should be sitting on my ass for the rest of my life not worrying about a fucking thing. Clams! Oh. 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 My poopy maker has been invaded and violated like the city of Atlanta after Sherman's reign of terror. <laughs> Just, let's be honest. The entire movie is a series more dick jokes than the Nixon inauguration. Heyo. Heyo. Oh.
the soundtrack. Wall of Flesh soundtrack uh, available at wallofflesh.com. You can pre-order it now, or depending on when you see it, you can regularly order it. It's a fantastic album where my man, uh, my man Tim Hall here from 1192 Studios in Westlake Village, California, he did the sound mixing and sound engineering. Guess jokes, baby, guess jokes. Yo mama's so ugly, she turned Medusa into okay, stone. Sure. Hell. What do Greek dogs eat? Barklava. <laughs> <laughs> the awkward moment when you realize that you have a body of a Greek god. The bottom half. Oh. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. Wah. <sighs> okay. What do you call the Arnold Schwarzenegger action movie about the Greek bailouts? <laughs> the last action euro. Ah. How do you separate the Greek men from the Greek boys? Uh, I'm sure it has to do with anal sex, right? It's with a crowbar. With a crowbar. Oh. I knew it. I knew it had something to do with anal sex. What breed of horses did the Trojan army ride? Oh, boy. Hold on one second. And Reset. What breed of horses did the Trojan army ride on in the evening? Uh... Nightmares. Boy, that is rough. <laughs> that That's is, bad. Wow. Oof. Who is the sexiest woman in Greek myth? <laughs> Turns out it was Medusa. She made guys rock hard. That's, <laughs> oh. I appreciate that. Oh, it's it's dirty. What's the name of a lackluster Greek philosopher? Um, I don't know. Mediocrities. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Oedipus. Now that's an OG motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) The Greeks may have invented sex, but Italians introduced it to women. Oh, snap. That's for those Italian boys. What's Poseidon's favorite game to play? Um, Ooh, we have a guess. I don't know. It's Hydro Go Seek. Uh, Oh, boy. Boy, you're giving me some real rotten. My girlfriend has the body of a Greek statue. Rock hard, but no arms. Oh, jeez. Is that even a joke? It's a description. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, what do you call a Greek mechanic? A grease monkey? <laughs> oh, boy. Why don't Greek gods insult people anymore? Why not? Because Icarus already had the sickest burn. Oh, because oh. he... This guy. Too soon. What? <laughs> that was <laughs> guest jokes. That was jokes. All right, Ted, look into uh, camera nine over there. Yeah. And go ahead and give us your uh, general social medias and uh, oh, yeah, web, yeah, web yeah. things. Uh, your deets and uh, dates. W- website is tedreese.com. going to have some new content on there shortly, so be on the lookout for that. You can follow me at Instagram. Uh, my handle is at Ted Al Ritzy. That's T E D A U R I T Z Y. Uh, you can follow me on the Twitters at, at Teddy Reese. That's uh, at uh, T E D D Y R E I S. Well, that was uh, episode two of an Unsuccessful Talk yeah. with Brian Sturgis. Uh, I'd like to, again, uh, give a special thank you to my main man. Tim Hall. You can follow him at the at Timothy Hall Music. Oh yeah, I guess it is there. I had to look it up. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have to look it up as well. Yeah, that's good. The boys eat feta. The boys eat feta. Oh, that's, oh, that's a leaky which I just, feta. Which I just spilled all over. Well, this isn't dairy. It's like goat milk. Oh, yeah, give it a good sniff. That's what I smell. Mm. Feet. Do the Greeks break dishes? No, that was just on a dumb TV show. That's not... Yeah, they do. It's... I mean, very rarely. Like, that's not... Don't break dishes. We're not. No, don't break a dish. <laughs> Let's lift up the dishes and we'll smash them down the table. Don't cut yourself. 
So we're gonna do one, two, three. You're fucking really gonna break Opa. the dish? Are you really gonna break the dish? Mm-hmm. Dude, no, that's dangerous. Mine has cheese still on it. Mine. <laughs> I'm not gonna break this dish, dude. What? Well, I'm slamming against the table. I'm not going to break it. What? Because that's crazy. <laughs> Opa! These are also, fucking, Opa. These are really sturdy dishes. What do you have to do to break these? I'm not going to break this, dude. That's insane. Well, we can put... Can we... Can we do some after effects? <laughs> Exploding dishes. Alright. Let's try it one more time. One. Oh my god. <laughs> Two. Three. Oh, nice. Did you break yours? There Opa! He is. Opa! 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 Come oh, on! Yeah, You gave, me the, you gave me a really tough one. Come yeah. on! You can do it! <laughs> I can hammer in the nail. Uh, tr- try just the tip yeah. of it against that. No.